Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you add fields from multiple tables into a pivot table or pivot chart, the data within the tables must be related for the resultant data within the pivot table to make any sense and be of any use. Note that if you create a data model from data tables in a relational database file, Excel can often create the needed relationships behind the scenes when it imports the data. Excel 2016 will attempt to create necessary relationships between tables when they are used. For all other cases, the tables must be manually related. If you add data fields from multiple tables within a data model to a pivot chart or pivot table without first relating the tables, you will see a warning message appear within the task pane at the right side of the window, informing you that relationships between tables may be needed. You can click the Create button that appears next to this message to open the Create Relationship dialog box where you can create the needed relationship between the two tables. You can also create relationships between tables within a data model prior to adding any fields to the pivot table or pivot chart. You can create multiple relationships between data tables if needed so as to avoid any warning message prompts when adding fields to pivot tables or pivot charts within the workbook. To create a relationship, simply click the Relationships button within the Data Tools button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. In the Manage Relationships window that appears, click the New button to open the Create Relationship dialog box. In the Create Relationship dialog box, you must select the names of the two tables that you wish to relate, and also select the fields within each that share the common data. Within one of the tables, the field with the shared or common data must contain only unique values. This is the primary field. Within the other table, with the field that contains the shared data, the values within the field may or may not be unique. This is the foreign field. Start by selecting the name of the table with the foreign field values from the table drop-down menu. Then select the name of the foreign field within that table from the column foreign drop-down menu. Then select the name of the table with the primary field values from the Related Table drop-down. Then select the name of the primary field within that table that contains the common data with unique values from the Related column Primary drop-down. Then click the OK button to create the relationship between the two tables. When you create relationships within this window, the relationship created needs to be either a one-to-one -one relationship or a one-to-many relationship between the two fields. Excel will not allow you to create any other type of relationship between table fields. For users who are familiar with the concepts of relating tables within a relational database, this should come as no surprise. However, if you are unfamiliar with relational database table design, this may seem perplexing. While a full discussion of relational database table design is not within the scope of this particular tutorial, it is discussed at length in the Mastering Access Made Easy tutorial by TeachUComp Incorporated. In essence, you can only create a relationship between fields within tables where the values contained within one field in one of the tables are unique. This field can then be joined to associated data within another table where the values may or may not be unique. After creating the relationship, it will appear within the Manage Relationship window. Note that you can continue creating additional relationships between tables if needed in this window by simply clicking the New button and repeating the process. Also note that you can only have one active table relationship between tables that are used within a pivot table or pivot chart. If you have multiple relationships between two tables that are available, only one of the relationships can be active at a time. The active relationship is shown within the Manage Relationships window. You can select an active relationship shown in this window and then click the Deactivate button to deactivate it. You can also select an inactive relationship within this window and click the Activate button to enable it again. You can also select a relationship within this window and click the Delete button to delete a relationship or click the Edit button to edit the relationship. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.